M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Retivis C1 dual band transceiver. On the Retivis site here, if you scroll to the bottom, I'll put the link in the description, you will see the software download. So all the way down, and there it is there. It also lists the manual as well. So if you click software and just run that, and I've already run it. So just run it and let it open, and you will see this. Just go to the down arrow, there's the zip, and just double click the XE. When it opens, it looks like this. Now, you are going to need to get yourself a cable. My H Alus HD1 cable worked fine. It's one of those types that screw in the side, it's got a single screw there, and it just screws in there. So, just undo that screw. This radio can be black on white, it can actually be white on black as well. So it's a really it's actually a really nice looking device. The only thing I don't like about it is that it hasn't got air band and it hasn't got a uh, a broadcast radio, which the broadcast radio part really surprises me. Because normally that's just built into the chip, into one of the chips on the board. So but anyway, I can't find that. It's a very nice looking software. Once you've got your cable connected which looks like this, and they're about 15, but it will work on a few different radios. So once you've got it, you've got it. Put that into your PC, and you'll be look, need to look up your, go to Device Manager, right click on the Windows Square, then go Device Manager, then click Ports, double click, and look, there's my COM16. Once you've got that number, now go back to the software, click set, and then choose COM16. I didn't have to touch the, the board rate, right? it just did it. English, of course, click OK, and then read. Read your radio, click OK, and it just reads. And it's quite fast as well. It's a nice looking software. Now they've really gone for it regarding the groups here. I know some people really like to use groups. I tend to just have about 15 channels my favorite channels. I do like to assign the, the push buttons with different functions. And really that's it. So that's loaded, it's got a couple of, you. there you are, Three. channels that you can see there and I've added a couple of names. So if we go to channel information, you've got basic parameters here, look. Double click and you can change the settings within the radio and it says here look power on picture so it looks like we can upload a picture not sure how but let's have a look file we can open and save the you know the settings and the memory channels that's fair enough when I go to program it says here batch channels I've not done that what's that just looking there interesting batch input Again, it's like a, it's got all the settings there, hasn't it? Again. So I see that, it's a very quick way of just entering channels. Go back to, there's a wireless copy setting here. Let's not use that. DTMF encode. Radio information, channel information. Channel group A. So that's the one I've been using. As you go through, you could fill all these different groups up. You've got your VFO setting. So if you just want to do the basics of adding memory channels, go back to, where is it? Program, click batch to get rid of that batch channel. And then you're just on the basic channels. You do have to slide quite a, quite a distance to the right to start adding channel names, which is here. And let's do a new channel now. So if we go back to the beginning, we'll go click on the number four channel. We'll go one, four, five. So I can't see how you can add a name using the radio. I've tried and I can't see you can do that. So we just go one, four, five, dot, uh, 100. As you know, it'd be zero, zero. So TB3WR don't need a decode so we'll just put that on none that's for listening but on transmit you'll need a CTCSS 
So under where it says ENCODE, code 77. ENCODE basically means when it transmits, it sends out a tone and opens the repeater. So 145600, 14500, when you transmit, you have a 600 shift there. And you can set the power, you can select wide or narrow. And then go across, this is what I do, just put in your name, GB3BC, okay. <clears throat> and then you can write that to the radio at the top. And that will add a memory channel, so that's a nice simple way. But it looks like the batch function is gonna be quite useful if you want to sort of add a long list of channels quickly. If you go Three. program, batch, and we've got parameters here, and it's such a shame that we can't choose air band, one, two, six, dot, you know, maybe there is an unlock procedure, I don't know, you know, but I'm just gonna go enter there, a few more noughts, and I go to the next one, yeah, it just goes straight back to one, three, six, so I guess that the way it would work is you got your start channel, number one, which goes to, yeah, 250, 250 channels, end. You choose the spacing. You could do 10. And then initial CTCSS. Yeah. That's it. I, I literally have never used it, but it looks like that's what you would do. And then you'd put them into one of these banks, which are extensive. So if you're into groups and banks, you're going to love this because you'll be able to tr create one for GMRS, one for PMR, and quite quickly, I would say. But it's not something I ever use. <laughs> But the software seems to work. It's very colorful to look at. If we go to channel information, then basic parameters, you get the main settings of the radio, which I tend to program by hand. I can't, can someone see how you import a photograph? So open, that's the, you know, my previous software. Read and write, that's the same. Batch, we just looked at that. Settings, you just get that. About, you get that. File, and open. So that's the bit I don't know how to do is, is a photograph, a boot up photograph. Radio information, channel. So have a play, that's what I do. Tinkering, I mean, you could, the basics are there for adding memory channels, nice and simple, read and write. I'll show you the screen in, in the other color as well. It's quite glary on my screen. Let's go to menu, over to the little yellow one, select with the green, go down until you get to 22, press menu, and then choose daytime mode, go down one with the arrow, menu, there you are, white. And I actually really like the white. It looks, I know it's a bit wishy-washy on here, but in real life, it actually looks really, really good. And it's probably my favorite thing of this device. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely looking handset to use. I think the fact that they've gone for it on the group mode is, 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 is its feature. Um, in this price range, because it's about 60 pound, I feel that they should have had airband and broadcast radio and it, i think just that alone would have made it a, a, a much more desirable radio for everyone um, looking at the competition bye for now seven three